Hello. Welcome. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing all right. Hope you're getting by, uh, which is all I feel we can ask for at this moment in time. Uh, today, I'm going to be opening a classic in Ipsy for the month of June 2022. Already halfway through the year. How did that happen? I don't know. I do not know. Uh, I didn't allow it, but no one ever asks me. So, Ipsy, if you're unfamiliar, is a monthly makeup and skincare subscription. There are three different tiers, two of which are available every month, including this one. This is just the Ipsy Glam Bag, uh, and it is, oh, the prices keep increasing. I want to say with the service fee, it's up to like $15 a month now, maybe even more. Um, I try not to check, uh, but around that price point, $15 a month, uh, and that includes shipping, but does not include tax. Uh, and then there's also the Glam Bag, which has also gone up, and I think is around $30 a month now, uh, and that is also every month. And then there's Glam Bag X, which I think is 60 at this point, uh, and that comes every quarter, so every three months. And they all are different tiers. So with Glam Bag, this one here, you get five miniature deluxe and occasionally full size items as well as a bag and with glam and you get to pick one of them with a glam bag plus you get to pick three and they're all full size uh, and you get also a drawstring bag with that as well and with glam bag x um, i believe you get to choose three as well maybe five but you get eight to seven uh, and those tend to be like more well-known higher and more expensive products is what i'm is what i've been told i don't get that one i just get this little baby so that's what's going on. That's Ipsy. Uh, let's get in and see what's going on. All right. The theme this month is show your colors. Um, I'm trying to figure out if this is Pride Month themed. I feel like it, it could be, but they're not like explicitly saying it is. Um, is that like, supposed to be too much commitment? Um, I don't know. I'm not going to say it's Pride themed because there's nothing on here about it. But it is Pride Month. Happy to all. Uh, but theme is show your colors. I got the purple bag with pink and yellow zipper. I know people were talking about their different color bags this month and people were talking about which one will we get? Which one do you want? So I got purple and now that I'm, I thought I didn't care but now that it's here I don't like it. Um, it is kind of interesting. It's like it's see-through. Uh, not see-through. It has like the little holes um, which I, I do kind of like. I'm torn. I really like the zip. I may take the zip off and put it on something else. It's a little lime. I like that. I like the zip. All right, so let's uh, actually get in to what I got. What I got going on here. All right, let me just dump it all out. Um, Wookie dokie. So we're gonna start with what's first on the list because there is a list I will again be reading. Let me. Be closer to the camera for that. So first up is Able Skincare Hyaluronic and Retinol Radical Youth Activator Serum. We have 10 milliliters here. Um, and the full size is 30 mils, which is $130. So we have a third of that. So we have a third of $130. So supposedly I have more than $40 worth of skincare right here. That uh, being said, I don't know what this brand is, but uh, there's a lot of things that are sold like in act like there that are sold in like Space NK and um, Meta Portier and like all those things that I don't know. So just because I don't know it doesn't mean it's not a real brand. Um, but I don't know if you ever heard of this. I'll do some research. So let's read about it. This potent serum contains two key ingredients: hyaluronic acid and retinol to help smooth complexion. Hyaluronic acid draws in moisture. And retinol jumpstarts collagen production to help firm loose skin and soften fine lines. Apply morning and nights, uh, even layer to clean skin. Uh, sure, I'll probably give this away just because I already have a retinol and a hyaluronic acid in my skincare routine. I use them at different times. I use the retinol at night and the hyaluronic acid in the morning under my moisturizer. So I probably won't be using this just because I don't need it. But it's fine. Cool. Good. It feels like honestly kind of a, it, it feels full. 10 mils. Good trial size. I'm happy. Next is the thing I chose. This also looks like a decent size. Um, usually these pots are, feel like this big. This is the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair Cream. 
So fun. Uh, hydrate and help heal your skin while you sleep with this night cream, Japanese indigo, and a red sage root. Soothe irritation while ceramides help repair your skin barrier for a healthy glow. Ideal for dry, sensitive skin in need of some extra love. This is... All right, this is 10 mils, and the full size is 50 milliliters, which sells for 88. So this is a fifth of that. Oof. So what, like $10, 10 to 15? I don't have a calculator because I film on my phone, so I can't do that math. Um, but let me know. If I'll tell. We'll see if I'm right. This is how much this is worth. All right. Um, let me see if I can. If it has a little thing, it doesn't. It just smells like a night cream. Just looks like a night cream. I do. I have a little pot of like the the dewy skin cream, which is like a pretty purple. Um, I love these little pots of moisturizer. I love them. Not as much in the summer, but still a little bit. But especially in the winter, uh, because I get so dry, and so I just I'm moisturizing my face constantly. Um, and I do like the little Tatcha pots for that. So if I see them, I get them. Um, and I saw it. I got it. Right. There's a song about that. Anyway, this is what I got. Happy with this. Because I picked it. But it's a decent, decent size. Next, we have Tarte Man Eater. Voluptuous mascara. I remember once a boy, a person, complimented me. I don't know if it's a He said about me that I was voluptuous and didn't feel like a compliment. I don't know. I also don't know if that's true, but anyway, I, I have a weird feelings about that word. Also, that person is who I'm now married to, so it worked out for him in the end, I guess, and me. But anyway, <laughs> would you feel happy being described as voluptuous? Let me know. Um, but this mascara is uh, the inka, inkiest jet black formula, and a flexible brush are the ultimate power couple for lifting and lengthening even the tiniest hard-to-reach lashes. All right, one quick quote. Jeez. Um, I always brag, oh, let me show you I know how to read. I'm not showing that skill off today. Uh, one quick coat is all you need for a seriously fanned out look, but a second or third layer will give you a falsy-like effect. Uh, so the full size of this product is worth 24, and that's 9 milliliters, and you get 2 milliliters in this one is what how much you get. Um, it also says six months on here. Can I explain that? Do you see it? It's kind of hard because it's gold. I throw away, I don't do this, but I tell people I do this. Mascara, like three months is what I've heard. So interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I just thought that was interesting and contradicted my understanding of mascara. But uh, either way, I do like minis. I've not tried Maneater before. Uh, I tend to prefer minis of higher end products anyway because they're mini, so you don't spend as much. And I, mascara, Maybe not this one, but you tend to want to go through it a little quicker. But I like it. I like a mini. I have a little stash of them. Um, I give them to people. Like I'll give them to my mom or people who need mascara. I'll bring them on a trip. I like how, same with my little moisturizer pots. I like my little mascara pots. I like having it in the back pocket. All right. Next, we have the K Voss NYC Lip Potion. And this is a full size and it retails for $28. Um, Overnight lip mask. It doesn't have like a flavor or anything like a type listed, but it does have sweet almond, olive oil, pomegranate, and pineapple, which sounds actually pretty good. Uh, think of this like an overnight face mask for your lips. This non sticky potion is packed with rejuvenating vitamins and antioxidants from fruit extracts and nourishing sweet almond and olive oils to leave your lips super soft and supple. Nice, excited. I'll toss it in my pile of lip gloss and lip balms, things like that, that I have to get through. But I'm actually, this sounds great. I like pomegranate and pineapple. Pineapple sounds a little exfoliating almost. I wonder. Oh uh, yeah. Kind of, kind of excited. We'll see how it goes. Um, I have really been enjoying the, uh, the roses one, but the strawberry flavor, I think I've already said, because that one has lanolin in it. So I like lanolin on my lips usually, but we'll see how this goes. We'll see when I get to it. Not, not mad about it. And then finally, let me get it out of its plastic packaging. Then opened. Oh my gosh, can I open? Stand by. Okay, open. This is the Complex Culture Bronzer 
in play. And this is a deluxe sample. The full size of this retails for $25. The full size is 4.5 grams. This is 1.5 grams. Okay, so like we're getting the fourth, fourth size. So anyway, so this is the comp. I was going to do the math, but no, I'm tired. I'm taking a stand. Um, against what? I don't know. Jeez Louise, y'all. Okay, complex culture, bronzer in play. Trust when we say that this isn't the same bronzer from your middle school days. What does that mean? Did you guys use middle bronzer in middle school? I was not using bronzer in middle school. You tell me, please. Um, so this non-streaky, non-orange powder formula is super smooth, easy to blend and build, and gives a skin gives the skin a realistic looking glow. Helps blur the look of pores and uneven texture too. All right, we'll see. Let's do a, do a little swatch. Because I do need a powder, powder bronzer. I don't mind that color. I do have a stain on my hand from the next video I'm posting, so ignore it. Ignore the stain. But that right there. Sure, fine. You know what? Let me get something. Just a minute. I also have a little baby of NARS Laguna from my, my Sephora birthday last year. Uh, so let's see how that looks compared. So there's Laguna. All right, so if you have Laguna, this is Laguna. This is the complex culture. I'd say Laguna has a shimmer to it. It's definitely kind of hard to tell. Let me build, let me build these up. All right, there we go. So Laguna is definitely shimmery and a little bit more yellow. This is more like more neutrally brown. If you were wondering, those are the two. I like I like Laguna a lot. So use this as like an eyeshadow. Sometimes. Uh, there we go. Cool, exciting. So let's. Uh, I think that's it. We're done. We've made it to the end. Let's. There we go. Calculate up some points. So I give the bag however many points. Five is the most possible. Uh, so first we have skincare. I'm going to give this half a point. So I don't know if I recognize the brand. And honestly, the high price point makes me question it, right? You know what I mean? It's like, that seems fake. Um, but half a point. I'm not necessarily mad at it. Then Natasha, full point for this. I picked it out, uh, which doesn't always happen with my pick points, but I did pick it. And I'm excited to have it. And uh, it feels, I like the shape of it. I like the shape. It seems like taller and skinnier than their smaller, wider pots, and I like that about this. So I have a love and moisturizing pot. Next, I'll give a point to the Man Eater. I like a Tarte mascara, although I've heard mixed reviews about this, I think. Um, Kelly Gooch just posted that she did not like it, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but I'm happy to see. I'm happy to have this. I'm happy to see a brand I like, so on those principles alone, it's a point. Not the strongest point ever, but it is a point. Give half a point to this. We'll see how it goes. Um, I have a lot of these. I don't know how I feel about K Voss as a brand. I think it's kind of just a filler brand, but that doesn't mean it's bad. I just, I'm not excited about it. Half a point. I'll get to it when I get to it. And then uh, finally, I'll give a point to the bronzer. I like a powder bronzer. I'm gonna. I'm trying to get my. I only use the Salt New York bronzer. That's like just what I use usually. So I'm trying to get more into uh, powder ones. And honestly, I feel like this is hard to open, but. Um, I like the size of the pan for a brush. I don't think the Nars Laguna, good luck getting like an actual bronzer brush into that. Um, but I like the size of this. And I think a powder bronzer might be good in the summer for setting, you know, in the face of the heat. So I think that's one, two, three, plus half a four bag point. This is a week four. In my heart, this bag kind of feels like a three and a half, but it got a four. You know what I mean? Um, so that's where I'm at. Pretty good bag. A star product. Excited about this. Everything else, I'm not mad at. So I, I did I did pretty well for myself. That's more than sometimes you get with Ipsy. So let me know how your Ipsy bag went. Did, what color did you get? Now that I'm thinking, I probably would have wanted the yellow. What can you do? Uh, what can I manifest it? Didn't think about it hard enough, I guess. <laughs> not how it works. I don't know how it works. Uh, but that's what I got. I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to keep hanging out. If you are interested in this look I'm wearing, uh, stay tuned because I am doing a video on this look. I'm going through the Kevin Aquan 
making faces book and doing all the tutorials in there. So this is number one if you're interested. So it's coming up. Um, so if that sounds interesting, subscribe or just come back. You know how to find me. You found me now. And I appreciate you finding me and watching. Thank you. All the way to the end. I appreciate it. And I hope you're doing well. And I'll see you around. All right. Bye.